Hi, my name is Dale Campaign. I'm from South Australia. I've been drifting now for about 15 years and I'm driving the GH Shortage Kumo Tyre One Via. So I've always been into cars, always enjoyed cars. First car I really ever got into driving uh, was the VC Commodore. Um, it was one of my parents' cars that they handed down. I used to uh, go up the shack all the time, drive, drift on the dirt, do that kind of stuff, and that kind of followed through into where I am today. Drifting really started for me back in the day uh, on the streets, um, hanging out with mates and stuff like that, uh, and then slowly progressed into buying my first 180. Uh, ended up taking that to Malala, went straight into a competition, um, lost the first time I was out there, got a bit more seat time, won the next time I was out there, and slowly progressed into where we're at today, uh, competing professionally. So competition, as I said earlier, started back at Malala days, uh, doing the G1s. Um, as we got a bit more seat time, a bit better behind the wheel, it slowly progressed into uh, events like the ADGP, um, DCA. DCA was the thing that really stepped my driving up from being consistent and boring, as some people call it, and to now getting a bit more aggressive and starting to get really consistent with being aggressive now, which has really helped, and DCA um, is to thank for that. DCA really took me overseas, as you can say. Uh, we went to Ireland and competed over there in the IDC. The reigning DCA champion, so he's got a lot of experience underneath his belt and doing a really solid job this time around. The dry conditions certainly helping. That was a championship prize from DCA. And the following year, uh, the second championship prize was going to Texas and driving at the Texas Motor Speedway. So the One Via, um, I actually bought off a mate, Ron. Um, he built this thing up as a, a show car back in the day. He would have spent close to 100,000 on it. It ended up winning uh, Best Jap um, at extreme at the I think Extreme Horsepower, and then he took it drifting. Uh, after the first crash, um, it was forever a track car after that. <laughs> So basically, the One Via as we got it was a pretty cool package. Um, it wasn't anything extreme. We slowly progressed over the years from doing the tube front end, slightly getting more power out of it, um, injectors, turbo. It started at around 370 kilowatts, and today as it is, it's 475 kilowatts of the wheels with 1150 newton meters of torque. Um, so the engine uh, in the One Via is not the standard SR20 that you'd usually find. It's actually a 2530, so a VL bottom end with an RB25 head. Since we bought the car, we've done injectors, uh, fuel rail, turbo, fuel system, um, and slowly built its way up to the power that it's got today. So over the years, we've gone through a few RB25 boxes, running the power we do. They don't usually last that long. Uh, we ran uh, always geeking gear set for I think it was four years each one so each set lasted three to four years and now we've upgraded and we run the PPG Fitzner uh, helicoil dog box and so in the rear of the car we've got an S14 cradle uh, running Driftworks knuckles with the suspension package we run Shockworks it's the most amazing suspension I've used to date. So with the front end, uh, we actually run uh, Stewie Bryant's Acostal caster arms uh, with uh, Phil Branson's modified knuckles. So the tyres we run on the front uh, are the Kumo V720, a very grippy, very re reliable tyre. Um, and on the rear, uh, we run the same tyre for the national competitions. And for the street restricted competitions, we run the PS71s. We've had an absolute blast competing everywhere all over Australia. Um, a lot of local rounds, uh, Vic Drift, or the Summer Series now at Tail and Bend. In the future, we're pretty looking at moving forward uh, and competing in high tech. Um, that'll be a national series held in 2021. We've taken the time off to get the car set up, corner weighted, balanced, everything ready to go. So it sh really should be a competitive package and can't wait to get over there. When it comes to sponsors, uh, this is a, definitely a sport you couldn't do without. Um, GH Haulage has been there 
really from day one. Uh, they've been helping me out, getting to events with car transport, um, helping out in many other ways as well. So they're a really big part of where I am today. Um, Sleeker Spares is another sponsor that I've been on board literally my whole career. They've pretty much made it easy to get every part needed when I need. Um, they're really good and they support South Australian Drift. So since Kumo Tyres come on board as a sponsor about six years ago now, it's been helping my driving a lot, knowing I've got a tyre that lasts, is reliable, and has been a big part of my consistency um, and basically winning events. So the car has always looked good and I've got Einstein to thank for that. All these great designs and wraps and stickers that he's done on the car over the years has always kept the car looking good, which has always helped out for keeping and gaining new sponsors. PPG Gearbox has come on board last year. Um, we're running the four-speed Helico Dog Box. It is an absolutely amazing gearbox. Um, selects first time every time uh, and has been really reliable and strong. Uh, other sponsors I'd like to thank over the years, Zito, uh, Power Plus Fuels. Being so successful in drifting over the years definitely doesn't just reflect on me. There is no way I could have been where I am today without the support from my awesome family and crew. <laughs>